Okay, I'm going to try to work on solving exponential and logarithmic equations. Keep in mind, sometimes we're talking about simplifying expressions or whatever. This is, and these are equations, and not to be funny, equations have equal signs. So here's an equal sign, and we're saying when is 4 to the 3x power equal to 8 to the x plus 1 power? Uh, and the way we're going to solve this particular one is we're going to solve um, by trying to come up with with equal bases here. So let's do this. See, this is what I'm looking. I'm looking at this four right here, and I'm looking at this eight right here. And all I'm at, and all I'm trying to figure out is, can I write four in the same base as I write two? That is to say, isn't it true that four is two to the second power? Isn't that four? And isn't eight two to the third power? So doesn't this? My question to you is. Doesn't this say 4 and doesn't this say 8? And we have them in the same bases, which is going to be really, really helpful. So I'm going to bring this math down here, this 3x here. I'm going to bring this power of 3x down here. And this power of x plus 1, I'm going to bring it down here. And then all I'm going to do is use the second rule of, uh, actually the third rule of exponents. And if, if we have an ex a quantity raised to a power and that quantity raised to a power, we multiply them. So this gives us 2. 2 times 3x is 6x, isn't it? And this equal sign is this one. And then we have 2 to the third, but we're going to distribute to here and to here. So here's that 2. 2, 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 1 is 3, isn't it? Okay, now that we have equal, that we have equal bases here, this one and this one, Right? The question really now comes down to this. Right, We have same bases, so when is 2 to the 6x power the same as 2 to the 3x plus 3 power? So what we really want to know is when is 6x equal to 3x plus 1? Sorry, plus 3. Wow. And here I'm just going to do some, just do this simple algebra. Right, I'm going to add negative 3x or subtract 3x from both sides, however you want to describe that. And here's 3x is equal to 3. Right. Divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3 here, divide by 3 here, and we get x equals 1. All right, so far so good. So when x equals 1. Let's test this out and see if it works. So test, right? We have 4 to the 3x power is equal to 8 to the x plus 1 power. And we said that x is equal to 1, right? We did all this work. We said x is equal to 1, so x is equal to 1. So this is four, 3 times 1 is 3. So 4 to the third power is equal to 8. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 8 to the second power. Is that true? We can test that just by doing arithmetic. And we have 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4. And 8 squared, of course, is 8 times 8. And we know that 8 times 8 is 64. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4, lo and behold, is 64. So 64 is equal to 64, so the solution to this problem is x equals 1. All right, so that's one method of solving problems like this. Here's another method, and it's a method that's not quite as obvious, so let's try this example 2. Example 2, and then I'm going to try to keep the video to about 6 or 7 minutes, so I'm going to do a second video on another uh, couple techniques for solving, but here's the next one. So we get a problem like this. We get a problem, and we're asked to solve, I don't know, um, 2 to the x power is equal to 7. Please remember, this is not 2x. This is 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x, so the exponent is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the log of both sides. We're going to choose a specific log. We're going to take log base 2 log base 2. So we're going to take the log of both sides. So here's this 2 to the x is equal to 7. Well, here, this side can actually be solved because th this is a, right? All these rules are the same. If you if you add a number to an equation, you have to add it to both sides to keep, keep in the balance. If you multiply an equation by a number, you must multiply the, the both sides of the equation by the same number. In the same way, if you take the log of one side, log base 2 of one side, you have to take log base 2 of the other side. So this question on the left-hand side is is actually asking us 2 to what power equals 2 to the x power? Well, obviously, 2 to the x power. So the answer on the left-hand side is x. And then we have is equal to 7 
Oh, did I wrote that wrong. Please forgive me. Sorry. Here's our answer. That's the log of both sides. So the log has to go on the left-hand side. So it's equal to log base 2 of 7. Sorry about that. Log base 2 of 7. How much is log base 2 of 7? I don't know, but it is a number. Think about it. It's asking us this question. 2 raised to what power is 7? Well, let's just test some numbers here. 2 to the second power is 4. 2 to the third power is 8. And we know that 2 to the x power is equal to 7. So our number is going to be some number between 2 and 3, probably closer to 3, right? Because we're looking for 7, right? We're looking for right 2 to some power is equal to 7. So that's what this is. We can use the change of base formula. So we're going to use change of base. So we can use our calculator. Change of base. And change of base, just this is something if you don't have this, you should just write this down. And change of base just says this to us, that if we have log base C of U, we can rewrite that is as log of U over log of C. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say, I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to have X is equal to log of 7 over log of 2. Now, if you're sitting here going, what the, does that mean? That's, it's really fair what, what you're asking me. I don't have a, a great answer here, except for the fact that this, your calculator, this is calculator math, and your calculator can do this math. Your calculator won't solve this. You can't drop that into your calculator. Well, not most calculators. But if you type this into your calculator this way, log of 7 divided by log of 2, it will give you an answer, and that answer happens to be about, let me do this correctly, is about... 2.807. And that's what we thought it was going to be, right? We thought we knew it was going to be some number between 2 and 3, closer to 3 than to 2. So there's our answer. All right? Okay, you guys. Good work. Um, I'm going to do the next video in just a second on these two other techniques you can use. So um, please review the two techniques that I just showed you, all right?